Good afternoon, everyone. Once again, this is Michael Kinnett with Eternal Networks. Earlier this week, the United States Senate passed a $1 trillion infrastructure bill. There's a lot of stuff in that bill. I didn't really go into a whole, whole lot of it, but um, one of the things that they did include in it is $1.9 billion in funding for cybersecurity to help secure critical infrastructure like utilities and other government entities around the country. The bill still has to go to the House of Representatives before it can be sent to the president for signing and who knows what it's going to look like then. But what it does say is, and show is that there is a, an emphasis being placed on the importance of cybersecurity for our nation, for especially for critical infrastructure. It also, the funding also includes uh, money for the National Cyber Director's Office, which is a, a new office within the White House that's sole responsibility is to focus on cybersecurity for our nation. And as the government's wrapping up its efforts in cybersecurity due to these increasing threats that we've seen in the world, such as what we talked about on our webinar last month, it's important that business owners and managers also evaluate their cybersecurity efforts. Are they doing what they need to do? Do they need to change anything? Uh, internally, we've been bouncing around a bit internally on which topic we felt was most timely for this month's webinar. And, and with the passing of this bill in the Senate and their inclusion of funding for cybersecurity, we, we felt that we should just continue some of our past conversations, but maybe go into a little bit more depth. So this month on August 26th at 1 p.m. Pacific, we're gonna be talking about why your business needs a managed threat response service. Now, throughout this year, we've been talking a lot about cybersecurity and different things on our other videos and other webinars and things that can be done to protect yourselves, to stay safe, to train yourselves. And one of those that we have mentioned is managed threat response. Uh, we're super excited. We're gonna have day four with Sophos. Um, he's gonna join us as a special guest speaker to talk specifically about managed threat response what it is and how it can act as a critical line of defense for your business. Specifically, we're gonna talk about how the service can help neutralize active threats against your organization. So if you think about watching TV shows, movies, right? You know, where there's somebody that's trying to hack into a business or to some federal agency, and you've got some techie guy or girl who's sitting there at the keyboard, actively trying to block that hacker from gaining access. Essentially, managed threat response is that, that person and the service that they provide to neutralize that active threat. We're gonna talk way more about what all is included in that um, and how it can benefit your business. Now, some of our past videos, we've talked about the need for next-gen endpoint security, software firewalls, VPNs, et cetera, that I consider to be the core of any cybersecurity program for business. And on top of those, the, the first thing I would recommend is to add this managed threat response service. So just, just like on our past webinars, one lucky attendee is going to win a $50 Amazon gift card. Uh, so make sure you, you join us live for that. I'll make sure the registration link's in the comments below so you can register. If you don't think you can make it live, please register anyway if you're interested in the topic. We will make sure to send you a link to watch the video at your own convenience when you have some time. Um, as always, if you have questions, please let me know. Post them in the comments or come with them to the webinar. I, I truly love helping others to improve their cyber resilience, their cyber security knowledge and I would love to help you and your organization as well. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I really hope to see you on our webinar live August 26th at 1 p.m. Pacific. Hope to see you then.